If you're fed up with soaring grocery prices, unfortunately, we bring some more bad news. Thousands of grocery staples will cost you 50% more than they did last summer. And some of them are likely to face even steeper increases due to a myriad of issues impacting food production. From drought to snow to storms and massive floods, extreme weather has battered the U.S. in recent years, and shoppers likely will feel the lingering effects at the grocery store over the next few months. Good weather, especially in the spring when planting season starts, is crucial to growing a bountiful crop of fruits, nuts, and vegetables. But the extreme swings this year have left many growers behind schedule, which means we are no longer talking about temporary food inflation, but a new normal where prices are more expensive and do not return to historical averages. Today, We've listed several products that will cost you roughly double than they did just a year ago. But before moving on, we humbly ask you to support our work with a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our upcoming lists. Without further ado, here are 20 foods that will double in price this summer. 1. Mac and Cheese Few things are as comforting to the belly as a delicious mac and cheese. Dried pasta is one of those reliable pantry staples that Americans rely on for a filling and cheap meal. But this trusty go-to is getting less affordable than it used to be. The average retail price for macaroni products is now nearly $1.49 per pound. That's up 7% last month and over 29% since last year. Adding that to an 18% increase in cheese prices, consumers are set to pay up to 50% more for mac and cheese this year. This means that a simple bowl of pasta is not exactly the cheap comfort food it may have been just a few years ago, and the surge will limit the choices of cash-strapped families even more in the coming months. 2. Ham an easy daily staple to throw on a sandwich during the rush of a day. Ham is another item that's recently skyrocketed in price. While a pound of it may have set you back about $4.07 in 2022, by March 2023, the price of a pound had gone up to $5.29. That is a whopping 30% increase in a single quarter. Given that meat production relies on skilled employees, for instance, knife technicians to cut off the bone, the production of ham has deteriorated as a result of labor shortages. Right ahead of peak demand, we might see ham prices 50% higher in the summer of 2022. 3. Barbecue Meats Barbecue season is right at the corner, and all meat lovers should expect to spend significantly more than they did last year. All of the top beef steak cuts like fillet, scotch fillet, porterhouse, T-bone, rump round, as well as ribeye, brisket, lamb chops, chicken legs, and pork, and even humbler alternatives like beef mince, sausages, and hamburgers are going to cost between 12.8% to 25% more this summer compared to a year ago, and about 45% to 55% more compared to 2021 levels, and that's according to estimates released by the USDA. That's because this year our domestic beef supply is far smaller than it was in 2022. The cattle sell-off that was spurred by drought and higher feed prices initially resulted in a surplus of meat in our food supply chain. But now that these products have already been sold and more supply isn't coming in, we're likely to see some empty shelves and much higher prices as seasonal demand peaks over the next couple of months. 4. Cookies Every key ingredient needed to bake chocolate chip cookies and to make them perfectly crispy on the outside and chewy on the inside is shot up in price. And now we'll have to disperse 50% more than we did just a year ago to be able to bring our favorite cookies home. While the average a consumer could expect to pay for a pound of chocolate chip cookies was $3.49 in 2019, 
the price is expected to surge to $5.19 in 2023. The New York Post noted that this year, U.S. cocoa supplies decreased by 20%, while the demand increased. At the same time, lower cocoa crop yields in countries like Ghana resulted in price surges for this key chocolate ingredient. Further, the summer break and the following back-to-school season are practically synonymous with chocolate, and with these massive surges in demand come even more price hikes. 5. Vegetable Fats and Oils So far this year, we haven't seen much relief in the global shortage of palm, soybean, and sunflower oils. Add to this Indonesia's palm oil export ban, and the options get even more limited. In some countries, supermarkets are literally prohibiting customers from buying more than one bottle of vegetable oil at a time so that inventories do not run dry. Thankfully, the situation didn't reach such extreme levels in the United States, but prices are hitting some painful new highs. In 2022, the category saw prices go up by 23%, and another 16.5% is expected to occur in 2023, representing a total increase of nearly 40%. 6. Dairy Milk production is also being impacted by the lowest supply of cows, and that isn't likely to change anytime soon. On top of the dramatic 22% rise in prices recorded over the past two years, dairy products are about to face an additional 8% increase this summer, according to the USDA report. Butter and margarine will likely see the largest increases even after jumping by 44% and 42% respectively in the last 18 months. For now, it simply remains a waiting game that will rely on weather conditions that may better support the production of milk and with that, the possibility of some reprieve where the price of dairy is concerned. 7. Sweets A report released by Food Business News reveals that the recent impact of weather conditions on Mexico's cane crops led sugar production to fall below expectations. The U.S. has usually received 1.3 million metric tons of sugar from Mexico. However, the 2023 export capacity seems to be down by about 300,000 metric tons. On top of the atypical rain patterns that have resulted in lower yields, inflation has also had a negative effect on production costs, particularly by way of diminishing farmers' capacity to recruit employees and to keep them in the workforce. In light of this, by April 2023, sugar prices had increased by about 24 cents for a pound, which, according to CNBC, represents the highest spike over the past 11 years. The domino effect of this increase will roll over to price increases across the confectionery, processed food, and sweet beverage industries. In other words, this summer, your favorite treats are likely to double in price, so stock up on them while you still can. 8. Processed Fruits and Vegetables Just as for other fresh foods, prices of processed fruits and vegetables are still rising in 2023, and that has everything to do with the weather. A wetter spring impacted crop production and resulted in smaller yields during harvest season. Consequently, Producers sent more of their fresh stuff directly to grocers, while processors were left with fewer supplies to make their products. On the other hand, with the high cost of fresh foods leading more and more families to seek alternatives, demand for processed fruits and veggies is expected to hold steady through the rest of the year, and that imbalance between supply and demand is going to push prices up by 9.6%, according to official forecasts. Compared to a couple of years ago, we'll be paying almost 38% more for our fruits and veggies. 9. Cereals The global inventory of maize, rice, wheat, barley, and oats remains about 11% lower than it was before the Ukraine crisis broke out in February 2022. The two countries are major cereal producers, but the conflict is impeding farmers from exporting their goods. 
This is keeping the cost of cereals at the stores about 26% higher compared to 2021 levels. And prices are going to rise even further considering that our domestic production has been disrupted by extreme weather events that's caused extensive losses. Cereal-based products will cost 8% to 9% more in 2023, and that increase can add up fast and actually make a world of difference for many struggling families. All in all, cereals may end up costing almost 40% more than they did in November 2021. 10. Bakery Products Americans' favorite bakery goods, including bagels, pretzels, cakes, pies, muffins, and more, are becoming increasingly more expensive, impacted by the soaring costs of cereals, flour, vegetable oils, and dairy, all at the same time. While prices already have risen by 34% compared to 2021 levels, another 12% increase is likely to occur by the end of the year, with peak prices expected during the summer. 11. Flour and Prepared Flour Mixes Alarmingly low supplies of wheat will keep flour prices at highs that Americans have last seen during the inflation crisis of the 1970s. At one point, flour prices spiked by 44%, and they remain above historical averages as global farmers scramble to ramp up production due to drought, storms, floods, and pests impacting crops. Bloomberg reports that right now, flour inflation is at its worst point in the U.S., and that will be reflected at our local supermarkets in the coming months, with an additional increase of 14% forecasted by the USDA. 12. Crackers Crackers, and especially rice crackers, are likely to double in price this year due to a decline in the global production of rice that is persisting for a third consecutive year. In countries like China, consumers are getting very frustrated with the situation already, but Americans are yet to see the knock-on effect reaching grocery shelves. 13. Potato Chips The price of tortilla and potato chips went up by 11% in April alone as a result of limited crop cultivation due to higher temperatures, as well as the spikes in vegetable and sunflower oil. Not only has this brought distress to consumers, but the food retailers who sell them have also had to deal with double takes at the prices. Frito-Lay, which produces popular chip brands including Cheetos, Doritos, and Lay's, was implementing price increases so fast that the ink on the deals between manufacturers and grocers were barely given room to dry before the next price increase had rolled around, the star revealed. This trend is likely to continue as demand peaks during the summer. While big box stores may have a little more resources to stretch, it's no surprise that smaller grocers are most impacted by these price hikes, especially when product prices increase at every notch in the supply chain. 14. Microwave Popcorn Who would have imagined that popcorn prices would be so high in 2023? While at movie theaters, they can cost up to $10 per serving. At the stores, microwave popcorn prices are more than double what they were in 2019 and are expected to continue to rise in the months ahead. All that is thanks to a worldwide shortage of corn, of oils, and of wood pulp used in the manufacturing of paper products. If you can find any deals and discounts at your local grocery store, don't miss the chance to buy them before they become even more expensive. 15. Healthily Packaged Snacks Healthy snacks such as protein bars, veggie crisps, trail mix, and dried fruits are probably the category facing the steepest price increases at the moment. With parents looking for healthier packaged snacks for their kids, these products have seen price hikes ranging from 35 to 55 percent since the pandemic, and this isn't likely to change in 2023. Food dive experts predict an additional 19 percent jump in prices over the next six to eight months. 16. Coffee Creamer 
Coffee lovers are seeing the price of both powdered and liquid coffee creamers hit some unexpected levels, to say the least. The decline in milk production is also impacting this product, which is a must for many households. Tasting Table reported that Nestle brands are experiencing the biggest price hikes, with the company announcing a fourth round of increases in just two years. 17. Shortening Food dive data shows that shortening prices have already gone up by 23% over the past 12 months and may jump by almost 20% over the next 12 months. The country's biggest producer, Crisco, has raised prices twice this year to cover higher operational and transportation costs, the outlet noted. Shortening is used in baking to help make products crumbly, flaky, and tender. It's 100% fat, as opposed to butter and lard, which are about 80% fat, so shortening results in especially tender cakes, cookies, and pie crusts. With inventories of vegetable oils dwindling, shortening is becoming harder and more expensive to produce, not only in America, but all over the world. 18. Non-alcoholic beverages, juices, energy drinks, soda, and other non-alcoholic drinks will be high in demand this summer, which means that we should prepare for some double-digit price increases. The category remains 17% higher than a year ago, but while some price hikes are as small as 0.7%, other products are more than tripling in price, depending on the packaging, the availability, and brand. Analysts at Eat This, Not That noted. 19. Orange and orange juice. Whether you like it fresh or as a mimosa over brunch, another crop that's gotten and is expected to get progressively more expensive in 2023, oranges. This in turn has elevated orange juice prices. Florida has been particularly hard hit. Last year, the state yielded the fewest orange crops it's seen since 1944. This is quite worrying, considering that the state usually supplies about 80% of all oranges that are used for the production of orange juice across the U.S. To make things worse, the nature of orange farming does not allow much leeway to swiftly recover from such setbacks. This is because orange trees usually only produce fruit after three years and go on to bring in profit at the six to nine year mark. As such, an increase in prices now may only really be just the start of a new normal where the orange crops are concerned. 20. Fried foods. Shoppers go to fried snacks. They're gonna cost a lot more this summer due to the surging price of vegetable oils. According to the New York Times, since January, the cost of fried foods rose by 12% and almost 27% from just a year ago. Not only on supermarket shelves, but at restaurants and fast food chains, Americans will see a dramatic price change compared to 2022, experts say. If you can't live without some French fries, try to restock your pantry with oils before prices rise even further. These are just a few products facing dramatic price hikes in 2023. If you're noticing other significant shifts in the price of staple products where you live, feel free to share your experiences in the comment section down below. Now more than ever is time to get ahead of these increases and start stocking up on everyday necessities before they become far too expensive and out of our reach. We hope you've enjoyed this video and would like to remind you to turn on the notification bell so you can keep tuned with what's coming next.